Hey there everybody, welcome back. I am going to share with you what sold for me last week, the week of August 9th to August 15th, 2020 on eBay and Poshmark. And we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first item that I will show you guys is this made in England brass and wood balance scale. Um, it was complete with four weights, and I believe I paid $1.50 for this at the American Rescue Worker. It sold for $28.77. All of my items are free shipping to the buyer except for auction items, which I will let you know if it was an auction item. So, $28.77. This next item is a uh, an Asian sort of bamboo scroll with a picture of birds and flowers on it. This sold for $11.17. This is one of those auction items when I'm trying to clear out inventory, I will put a lot older items for a dollar with $10 shipping. Um, I make money on the shipping because it doesn't cost me $10 to ship any of these items. Um, so this sold for $11.08. This is another auction item. And this particular buyer bought three of these barrettes. So I was able to combine the shipping and sell them all together and save a little bit of money on the shipping. But they paid $11 for this as well. Again, $11. This is a, um, I've had this for a really long time. Made in Occupied Japan, a little man and woman and bird. Shipped for $11. This item and the following um, item are bolos. I've told you guys before, look out for these light switch covers. This one sold for $12.19. And this one sold for $10.60. And both of them went to the same buyer. So I was able to combine the shipping and save some money on the shipping, which I love that. And then this barrette set and this barrette set, um, I was sent offers from that same buyer for a total of $11 for both barrette sets. So five for one, six for the other, plus the 11 for the original one, and they all ship together. This was a really cool burns a matic uh, a torch tip for a propane um, a setup and it was like two different type of flames so one was like an open sort of flame and the other one was like a blue jet flame anyway never saw one of these before so I definitely picked it up at an estate sale I paid next to nothing for it and this sold for $40 even um, this I got from the, the bargain barn for a dollar. Uh, I actually looked at it two times before I actually took it home, but this is like a mid century sort of atomic style ceiling fixture with a, like a tempered glass. This sold for $76 and 96 cents. These mid century lamp and lighting fixtures are definitely a bolo they're a little bit harder to ship and i suggest especially with the um the climate lately of postal services that i would ship this with fedex i did ship this with fedex anything large or anything fragile i am shipping with fedex from now on um i could explain but i'll just get upset about how the post office has been treating me and my packages lately i am dissatisfied to say the least so the next item is this Disney bed sheet and pillowcase set. This sold for $31, free shipping. This set of metal tin boxes or containers were in my son's um, nursery for a while. And then I ended up deciding to take them out, change his nursery up just a little bit, and then I sold them. This was a purchase from a woman who I had sent Pyrex plates to and then refunded her money because I got packages mixed up. She did end up receiving the plates and none of them were broken, surprisingly. And she was like, how can I pay you? Um, 
I decided that if she could find something else in my eBay store that she would like to purchase, that she could do that. And that would just be the equivalent of her paying for the plates. I would then make my money back and I wouldn't be losing out on anything. So anyway, these sold for the full ask of $34.96. This uh, was like a thermometer print, and it was one of the very first items I ever bought. <laughs> it sold for $14.31, and again, this one went FedEx. I saved money shipping at FedEx, and I also um, was glad to send it FedEx because I knew that it wouldn't break, and it didn't, and the buyer was ecstatic about it. He sent me several messages while it was en route. This set of Pyrex plates in a spring green festiva style sold for $33.57 cult stapler these are kind of a bolo if you find these old staplers and the staples that go with them they usually sell this one sold for just $10 but I definitely made a profit on that this little carved bear, super cute. I got it in an estate sale, um, paid less than a dollar for it. It sold for $14. I wasn't positive what this item was. It is a little metal, it's kind of heavy, Scotty, Scottish Terrier, Scotty, Scotty dog <laughs> on a metal plate, which I assumed was a lid for an inkwell because there's a hole in the dog's back that a pen fits into. Um, so regardless, it sold for $12 free shipping. This Southwestern uh, button up sold for $15. I bought these to kind of keep for myself, but I ended up selling them. And I'm glad I did because I sold them for $103.95. Um, little pro tip here for you guys. If you sell most of... Okay, so most categories on eBay, they charge a certain percentage um, to the seller for selling the item on their website. So if you actually sell something for over $100 on most items, the percentage drops. So I would suggest that if you have items that are currently listed in your store for just under $100, I would suggest that you up the price a little bit to make them just over $100. Um, in the scheme of things and in the long run, it'll save you a lot of money and seller fees. I learned that by reading the fine print, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> so the next item that sold Christmas in August is this. It was a little mini Christmas tree with a bunch of little tiny, cute little mini ornaments hanging off of it and it sold for $22.37. This was a furniture salvage piece like a gold filigree item. It sold for $16.50. Cat tissue box um, latch hook. I'm not really sure what this style it's like on the plastic with the grate and anyway he had a little fluffy tail. It sold for $13.97. <clears throat> this was a Royal Copenhagen porcelain um, elephant figurine Danish. It sold for $22.37. This sold really quickly. Uh, it was just a little brass pineapple. It was probably only three inches tall um, candlestick holder. And it sold for $15.95. And then last week, last but not least, on eBay, I sold this copper gilded tea kettle for $20.96. Now that's everything that sold for me last week on eBay from August 9th to August 15th. And next we will jump into Poshmark and I will share with you what sold on Poshmark last week. All right, so we had a couple of sales on Poshmark last week. The first one I'll share with you guys is this pair of blazers they were bundled together a plaid wool one and a vintage houndstooth pink one they sold for $16 bundle price and I made $8.25 on both of them together I don't know if the blazer craze is slowing down but I haven't sold many blazers lately so I don't suggest necessarily picking them up 
um, unless they're super unique or high end. This is a vintage um, cream colored slip dress. It sold for $15 minus a shipping discount. So I made $4.89. This cheetah print or animal print um, bag, it was like a clamshell bag, brand new, really cute, sold for $40. The buyer paid shipping, so I made $32 on that purse. These two skirts, they were very similar to each other. Obviously, the buyer has a certain style. So gray, midi, vintage skirts. They sold together as a bundle for an offer of $20 minus the shipping discount. I made $8.89 on these. And the buyer left me some nice feedback. So five stars um, came as expected. No weird smells, clean, and no unnecessary packaging. I'm big on the no unnecessary packaging. I think it's cute to have like tissue paper and a little thank you note and stickers and whatever else people send. And, and by all means, you do you, boo. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, I use recycled materials to ship and I will put the item of clothing into it and seal it and let it go. I don't add any extra things for the buyer to essentially throw away. Some people save that stuff. Most people throw it away. It ends up in landfills. Anyway, if we're doing this for sustainability and we're doing this to save items from landfills, etc., etc., then part of that should include recycling materials and using as few materials as possible to get the job done. So anyway, this Eddie Bauer sweater hoodie sold for $15 free shipping. I made $4.89. You guys will see a theme here most of the time, um, unless the item's worth a lot more money, I will send a free shipping $15 offer on Poshmark for just about all my items because this $4.89 um, profit margin or profit for me is a good little sweet spot. I, I would call it the bread and butter. So we, most of my sales on Poshmark accumulate to this kind of an earning. And I'm totally fine with that because, because my clothing cost of goods is 50 cents or less per item. This Victoria's Secret hoodie sold for $15. Um, no shipping fee, or I'm sorry, no shipping discount. So I made $12 on that. This denim and supply kind of crochet macrame top sold for $17. No shipping discount. So I made $13.60 on that item. And I remember paying $5 for that at like a indoor flea market. So that was a higher item, higher dollar item at purchase. And I had it for a long time. This pair of bras I bought and they did not fit me. So I sold them for $15 minus a small shipping discount. I made $9.88 on those. And last but not least on Poshmark last week, I sold this super heavy, super awesome knit wool pullover sweater for $20 minus a shipping discount. So I made $8.89 on this sweater. Well, that's everything that sold for me on eBay and Poshmark last week, the week of August 9th to August 15th. Don't forget to like the video. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more uh, reselling content and what sold in bolos. In the meantime, you guys, happy hunting!